um, we're gonna do a vinyasa flow um, with some modifications. So whenever you're ready, you can get started out in child's pose. So forehead resting on your mat. Knees together or spread wide. And big toes touching. So take a nice long inhale through the nose and a nice long exhale through the nose. So big breath in, filling up. Long exhale out, just letting go. Maybe gently rolling your forehead from side to side. And maybe just taking a moment to set an intention for your practice. So big breath in, filling up. And then a long exhale out, letting go. <clears throat> One more inhale, filling up, expanding through the ribs and back ribs. And then exhale all out, just empty out completely. Go ahead and slowly make your way up to your hands and knees. And we'll take a few hip rolls to the right. So getting out any snaps, crackles, and pops. Go ahead and come back to center and take a few hip rolls to the left. We'll make our way back to center and come into a tabletop position. So shoulders over hips, or shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. We'll take a few rounds of our cat cows. So inhale your crown to the front, tail to the back. Exhale to your cat, push out all of the air. Inhale to your cow. Exhale to your cat. So just moving with your breath and warming up your spine. After one more round of each, we'll make our way back to a neutral spine, neutral position and press back to your first downward facing dog. So we want feet about hip width apart, palms pressing into your mat, fingers spread wide. Take a nice deep bend in your right knee, press your left heel toward the mat. Bend your left knee, press your right heel toward the mat. And then just walk out your dog bending one knee and then the other. Maybe shaking your head yes, shaking your head no. And we'll go ahead and come back to our downward facing dog. Inhale, rise up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press your heels toward the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, heels down. So one more round. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, heels down. We'll reach that right leg to the sky. Try to press equally into both palms, keeping your shoulders square to the top of your mat. And then bend your knee, peel open your hip. Maybe rolling out your ankle. reach that right leg to the sky. Release right foot to meet left. So we're going to reach that left leg to the sky. Peel open your hip. Just taking any movements on this side that feel good to you. Trying to check in, make sure you're pressing into both palms equally. And just breathing here. Go ahead and release left foot to meet right. And we'll tip toe our feet up toward our hands, heel toe our feet to the outer edges, and just grab opposite elbows. 
So coming into our ragdoll, letting that head hang nice and heavy, just beginning to let any stress or tension pour off the neck and back. If you want a more restorative pose, you can bend into the knees and relax the belly onto the thighs. Go ahead and release your hands, heel toe your feet back to about hip width apart. We'll inhale, halfway lift, pull your crown to the front, tail to the back. Exhale, take a nice deep forward fold. And then inhale, your arms to the sky. Go ahead and hook your thumbs, press into the feet, let those elbows fall out. Maybe walking your gaze to the sky. Go ahead and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then step back to your high push-up. You can modify by dropping those knees down. We'll exhale to low. Inhale to your cobra. So just pausing here, pressing into the tops of the feet. Getting a nice neutral gaze. and then press back to your child's pose. So coming back to that intention, coming back to your breath. Go ahead and rock forward. We're gonna come back to a modified high push-up. Exhale to low, so hug those elbows in. Release your belly down and come into a gentle cobra. So neutral gaze, pressing into the tops of the feet, and then press back to your child's pose. So just pausing here. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, emptying out. Big breath in, fill up. Long exhale out, let it go. One more time, we're gonna rock forward to our modified high push-up. Exhale to low, hug those elbows in. Arms bent in about a 90 degree angle. Release onto the belly, come into your cobra. So you should be able to have very little or no weight in the hands, really pressing into those tops of the feet. And then press back to your child's pose. We're gonna press back to our downward facing dog. Go ahead and reach that right leg up to about hip height. So press through that foot almost like you're pressing into a wall. We're gonna step through and rise up to our warrior one. So that back foot pointing toward about 10 o'clock, right knee over that right ankle. You can make the pose more difficult by creating or taking up some more space on your mat. You can back off a little bit by just shortening the stance. So I'm gonna take a modified version this time. So just shortening the stance, maybe walking my gaze up to the sky. You can make a connection overhead or you can release hands to heart center. So just breathing here. So coming to wherever feels good to you. We're gonna go ahead and release our hands to the mat. So step back to your high push up or modify by dropping the knees. Exhale to low. Come into your cobra or if it feels okay, you can come into your upward facing dog when pressing into the tops of the feet, engaging the legs, maybe lifting the legs off the mat and then press back to your downward facing dog. We're gonna reach that left leg up to about hip height. So flex your foot, push it into 
an imaginary wall. And then step through and rise up to your warrior one. So again, just finding that sweet spot for you. I'm gonna modify by taking a shortened stance. Maybe having those arms overhead or bringing them to heart center. So just checking in, listening with your body. Today, I'm gonna to primarily do this class um, more modified, but feel free to take it to whatever level feels good to you. Go ahead and release your hands to your mat. Step back to your high push-up or come to the knees. Exhale to your low push-up, hug those elbows in. Come into your gentle cobra or upward facing dog. Or just press back to your child's pose one more time. So just breathing here. Spreading those fingers wide, pressing into your palms. Maybe engaging the arms. Just breathing here. And then press back to your downward facing dog. So we're gonna keep our feet on our two separate planes two separate running boards. I'm gonna step my right foot forward, so setting up for a low lunge. And I'm gonna modify by just dropping that back knee down. Can reach those arms to the sky. You can have hands at heart center. So just breathing wherever you are. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe focusing on your breath focusing on your intention. Go ahead and release your hands back down and I'm just gonna step back to my downward facing dog. So I'm gonna step that left foot forward, setting up for my low lunge. Drop that right knee. You can keep your hands on your mat. You can walk them up the thigh send them to the sky or bring them to heart center. So just breathing here. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose. So focusing on your breath. And just breathing here. I'm gonna go ahead and release my hands and step back to my downward facing dog. So I'm gonna walk, step or float to the top of my mat. Inhale, halfway lift, pull your crown to the front, tail to the back. Exhale, forward fold. And I'm gonna sink down to my chair. So I'm just gonna take kind of a modified version here. I'm not gonna sink to the deepest level, I'm just gonna kind of back off, almost more like I'm sitting on a stool. Maybe bringing those hands to heart center. So just breathing here. Keeping that tail tucked, belly button sucked to the spine. Go ahead and inhale your arms to the sky, straighten the legs. Exhale, forward fold. We'll heel toe our feet toward the outer edges of our mat. And you can either come into your rag doll again, grabbing opposite elbows or interlace fingers behind the back and let those arms fall forward. So just breathing here. ahead and release your hands. Heel toe your feet back to about hip width apart. So inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. We'll inhale our arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We're going to release our hands to the mat. Heel toe those feet to the outer edges again. And either coming to your ragdoll or interlacing the fingers behind the back. 
So just coming to wherever feels good to you. So just breathing here. Inhaling and exhaling. Try to let that head hang just a little bit heavier. Try to bring your attention and awareness to the breath. Maybe focusing on your intention. Go ahead and release your hands. Heel toe your feet back to about hip width apart. This time we're gonna just roll up to standing. One vertebrae at a time. And go ahead and bend into the knees. We're gonna roll down into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Can step or hop back to chaturanga. And drop those knees, modifying. So high push up to low push up. Cobra or upward facing dog. And then press back to your downward facing dog. So we're gonna take three rounds of our sun A's moving with our breath. We're gonna walk, step, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or hop back. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Just press back to your child's pose. And then press back to your downward facing dog. Walk, step, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or hop back, chaturanga. Always knowing you can drop those knees. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Press back to your child's pose. So just pausing here, coming back to the breath, and then press back to your downward facing dog. So we'll walk, step, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or hop back. Chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale back to your child's pose. So just pausing here. We're going to go ahead and walk our hands out over to the right. Go ahead and crawl those fingertips out. Getting a nice stretch in the side body. And then sink your seat towards your heels or your feet. Go ahead and come back to center. Just pausing here. We're going to go ahead and walk our hands over to the left. So crawling those hands out. Trying to get a nice stretch in that right side body. Go ahead and come back to center. Just pausing here for a moment. We're gonna make our way up to a tabletop position. Go ahead and inhale your crown to the front, tail to the back. Exhale to your cat, round your back, push out all of the air, and then just come back to a neutral spine, neutral position. We're gonna 
inhale that right arm to the sky. Exhale, thread your needle, right cheek and shoulder on your mat. So just breathing here. and come back to center. Inhale that left arm to the sky. Exhale, thread your needle. Left cheek and shoulder coming to your mat. And come back up to your hands and knees. We'll press back to our downward facing dog. Take a nice deep bend in that right knee. Press your left heel toward the mat. Bend your left knee. Press your right heel toward the mat. And then just walk out your dog. Bending one knee and then the other. Maybe swaying into the hips. Go ahead and inhale, rise up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, heels toward the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, heels down. So we'll keep those feet on our two separate planes, two separate running boards. Step that right foot forward. Drop that left knee to your mat and reach that right arm to the sky. So pressing into that left hand, reaching through those right fingertips, maybe walking your gaze up to the sky. If it feels okay, you can take a half bind bringing that right hand to that left hip pocket. and reach that right arm to the sky and then release your right hand to the mat we're gonna walk our hands up onto the leg so get nice and stable maybe feeling a stretch in that left leg we'll bring hands to heart center and twist to the right so left elbow to the outside of that right leg so press into your palms try to stack your wrists elbows and shoulders. If this feels okay, maybe opening up to fly. And just trying to imagine your back pressing onto a wall. Go ahead and release your hands. We're gonna step back to a modified push-up or to your high push-up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, press back to your child's pose. So walk those fingertips out, spread them wide, press into the palms, engaging through the arms. We're gonna just roll up coming into our hero's pose. Go ahead and bring your hands to your thighs and just gaze at a nice neutral spot in front of you. So just pausing here, inhaling and exhaling, coming back to your intention. Go ahead and inhale your arms to the sky, hook your thumbs, let those elbows fall out. Reach your arms to the sky. We'll release that right hand to our mat or maybe a block. Reach that left arm up and over and try to peel that left shoulder back. So just breathing here. Go 
ahead and come back to center. Reach those arms to the sky and then release that left hand. Reach that right arm over. Reach through those fingertips. Peel that right shoulder open. You can maybe walk your gaze toward that right forearm or the sky. So just coming to wherever feels okay to you. Go ahead and come back to center. We're going to make our way into an easy seated pose. So whatever is comfortable for you, inhale your arms to the sky and then twist to the right. So sit up nice and tall, finding a focal point, maybe gazing toward that right shoulder. Just breathing here. and come back to center. Inhale those arms to the sky and then twist to the left. So try to sit up nice and tall, maybe gazing to the left. Go ahead and come back to center. We'll make our way into our tabletop position. Inhale your crown to the front, tail to the back. Exhale, round your back, coming into your cat pose, and then press back to your downward facing dog. <clears throat> so keeping those feet on those two separate planes, two separate running boards, step that left foot forward, coming into a lunge. Drop that right knee. We'll press into our right hand, reach that left arm to the sky. So reach through those fingertips, press your back into your imaginary wall. Breathing here. Maybe bringing that left hand to that right hip pocket. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Go ahead and release that left hand. So we'll get nice and stable and then walk your hands up onto that left thigh. So just pausing here. Maybe feeling that stretch in the front of that right leg. We'll inhale our arms to the sky and then release hands to heart center and twist to the left. So trying to twist out any toxins in the body. Pressing into the palms. Stacking the wrists, elbows, and shoulders. And just breathing here. Maybe opening up to fly. We're going to go ahead and release our hands. Step back to that tabletop position. We're going to inhale our crown to the front, tail to the back. Exhale to your cat and push back to your downward facing dog. So we're going to step that right foot forward, rise up to your warrior one. So coming to wherever feels good to you. I'm going to take a modified version today. So bringing hands to wherever is comfortable. <clears throat> We're going to peel open to our warrior two. So right heel in line with the arch of that back foot. Again, if you want to shorten the stance, you can come into a modified version, just a gentler version of your warrior two. We'll catch our hips, turn our toes and heels out. Interlace fingers behind the back, shine the heart, and then exhale forward fold. So you can have hands interlaced behind you. You can bring your hands to the ground. So just coming to wherever feels good. Maybe letting that head hang nice and heavy. 
And just breathing here. Inhaling, filling up. Exhaling, letting go. Go ahead and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Catch the hips. We'll pivot back to those warrior one feet. Step in part way. Square your hips to the front of your mat. We're going to fold forward into our pyramid pose. So you can just release your hands to the mat. And just breathing here. Again, if it's too much, step that back foot in, just shortening the stance. So just inhaling and exhaling here. And then go ahead and just step back to your downward facing dog. So inhale, rise up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, heels toward the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, heels down. One more time. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, heels down. We're going to step that left foot forward, rise up to our warrior one. Okay, modified version, bringing hands to heart center, stepping that back foot in, just a nice, gentle warrior one. And we're going to peel open to our warrior two. So left heel in line with the arch of that back foot. And relaxing the shoulders. Again, you can take, um, make it a little bit easier by just stepping that back foot in. So just breathing here, maybe gazing over that left hand. Go ahead and catch your hips, turn your toes and heels out, and we're going to forward fold. So either interlacing the fingers, releasing the hands to the ground, you can grab opposite elbows. So just coming to wherever feels good to you. Letting that head and neck hang nice and heavy. And just breathing here. So really try to let any tension go. Go ahead and release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And then walk your hands out in front of you. We're just going to relax our chest toward the mat. Pull the tail back. Relax the head. And then walk your hands back, engage your core, catch your hips, rise up to standing. We'll pivot back to those warrior one feet. Square those hips to the front of your mat, maybe stepping in part way. We're going to fold over that front leg. So just relaxing your head and neck. Breathing here. So pulling that left hip back, right hip forward. Try to find that sweet spot. And just let any tension pour out of the hips. So focusing on the breath, maybe on your intention.
and then go ahead and step back to your downward facing dog. We're gonna tiptoe our feet up toward our hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. We'll inhale our arms to the sky. Go ahead and hook your thumbs maybe the opposite way. Let those elbows fall out. So root through the feet, engage the core. We'll release hands to heart center and sink down to our chair pose. So I'm gonna modify here, just not sinking quite as deep, but engaging that core, tucking my tail. And I'm gonna take a modified twist. So I'm gonna bring my right hand to my lower back, left hand to the outside of that right leg. So sinking down, lifting the chest, maybe looking to the right. So breathing here. Go ahead and come back to center. Inhale your arms to the sky. And we're gonna take our modified chair on the other side. Or if you wanna take your full chair, go for it. So I'm gonna sink down just a little bit, tuck my tail. Bring that left hand to my low back, right hand to the outside of that left leg or to wherever feels okay to you. So you can make it more intense by sinking deeper, less intense by coming up just a little bit. So just breathing here, focusing on the breath, maybe gazing toward that left shoulder. Go ahead and come back to center. Inhale your arms to the sky. We're gonna make a connection overhead Maybe leaving the pointer fingers out if that feels okay. Root through the feet. So I'm keeping my feet about hip width apart. Lean over to the right. Peel that left shoulder open. Come back to center. Lean to the left. Peel that right shoulder open. So just breathing here. Inhaling and exhaling. Go ahead and come back to center. Release that right hand down the right leg. Reach that left arm up and over. So again, rooting through the feet, engaging the core. We'll switch sides. Left hand down the leg. Right arm up and over, peeling that shoulder open. We'll come back to center, interlace your fingers, press those palms up. So root down, reach up. We'll release our hands by our sides and we're gonna take a couple balance poses. I'm gonna do the balance poses modified today. So we're gonna come into our tree pose. So just bringing that right foot to that right ankle. You can always bring it to the calf or upper inner thigh. Maybe bringing hands to heart center. And then again, just taking whatever variation feels good to you. So our tree pose is supposed to be a hip opener. So even in this modified position, trying to peel that hip open, trying to press down through the foot, reach up through the crown. Engaging the core and maybe just finding a focal point. Maybe focusing on the breath or the intention. So just being here in this present moment. Go ahead and release your hands, release your foot, maybe rolling out your ankles. And we'll take our tree on the other side. So plant that right foot into your mat. Left foot coming to the ankle for the modified version or wherever feels good for you, just avoiding the knee. So root down, rise up. Finding that focal point, that dristy gaze. And just breathing here. Maybe imagining roots from your foot growing down into the floor, into the earth. 
from reaching your crown up to the sky and peeling open that hip. Go ahead and release your hands, release your foot. We're gonna take our tree one more time on each side. So right foot coming to wherever feels good to you. So rooting down, reaching up, peeling open that hip. Maybe engaging the core, getting nice and grounded, nice and stable. Go ahead and release the hands, release the foot. We'll take our tree on the other side. So left foot coming to wherever feels good to you. So maybe keeping that kickstand, maybe releasing those hands to heart center. Just breathing here. Focusing on the breath. And then release the hands, release the foot. We're gonna take our eagle pose too. I'm gonna do a modified eagle. So you can bring arms to goalpost arms. Maybe bringing right arm under, right leg over. You can modify by releasing your hands to your shoulders. And then we're just gonna keep the kickstand. So sinking down into our chair-like position squeezing everything into that center line. Even though it's modified, you can really engage all your muscles. Squeeze your core, squeeze everything into that center line. Maybe lifting those elbows up toward shoulder height. And just breathing here. So wringing your body out like a wet towel. Go ahead and unravel, reach those arms to the sky. We'll take our tree on the other side. So goalpost arms, bring left arm under, left leg over. You can bring hands to the shoulders for that modified version, maybe keeping that kickstand. So feeling the stability, sinking down into that chair-like position. Squeezing everything into that center line. Find your core, squeeze it in. Maybe finding that focal point. And just breathing here. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Go ahead and reach your arms to the sky. We'll take our eagle one more time on each side. So arms to goalpost arms, right arm under, right leg over. So I'm gonna keep that kickstand. I'm gonna release my hands to my shoulders, squeezing in, sinking down. And again, finding that sweet spot for you, if you need to adjust, back off a little bit. If you want to take it deeper, you can sink a little deeper or wrap those arms. Just breathing here. I'm going to inhale my arms to the sky. I'll take my eagle one more time on the other side. So bring that left arm under, left leg over. Okay. Maybe having hands on shoulders, keeping that kickstand, and just squeezing everything into that center line. So breathing here. Squeezing and engage that core. Really focus on the muscles that you're using. Maybe lifting those elbows up to shoulder height. Go ahead and inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We'll step back to our high push-up so you can come to the knees. Exhale to your chaturanga. Inhale to your cobra. And then just press back to your child's pose. So just breathing here. Coming back to your breath. Coming back to your intention.
We're gonna crawl those hands over to the right. So we get a nice stretch in that right side body. Come back to center, pause here. So just coming back to center, noticing where you are, focusing on your breath and feeling the support of your mat. Go ahead and walk those arms out to the left, maybe crawling those fingertips out, getting a nice stretch in the side body. and come back to center. So just pausing here. And then make your way back to your hero's pose. So inhale those arms to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. So sit up nice and tall. Maybe gazing toward that right shoulder. So just breathing here. We'll come back to center. Inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left. So just sitting up nice and tall. Maybe gazing toward that left shoulder. And just breathing here. Go ahead and come back to center. We'll make our way into our tabletop position. We're just going to take three hip rolls to the right. We'll come back to center. Take three hip rolls to the left. And then press back to your downward facing dog. So big breath in, filling up, long exhale out, letting go. Big breath in, filling up, long exhale out, letting go. Go ahead and tiptoe your feet toward the top of your mat. Heel toe your feet to the outer edges. We're going to take peace fingers around our big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. So let your head hang nice and heavy. Just breathing here. Let those shoulders go. And just focus on your breath. If it feels okay, you can close the eyes. Go ahead and release your hands. We're gonna turn our heels and toes out, coming down to our Buddha squat. So if this does not feel good to you, if your um, heels are not touching the ground, you can either place a blanket, a pillow, you can roll your mat and bring it under those heels, or you can take a, a block or a pillow and have a seat. feels okay maybe pressing the elbows into the legs and just breathing here we'll go ahead and forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold We'll inhale our arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We'll step back to our last modified push-up. 
exhale to low. Inhale to cobra or your upward facing dog. And then press back to your child's pose. And just make your way into a seat. So legs nice and long in front of you. Maybe flexing your feet. We'll inhale our arms to the sky and then exhale forward fold. And again, you want it to be a nice active pose. Maybe flexing the feet. Maybe trying to keep a nice flat back. Just meeting yourself where you are today. Just breathing here. Inhaling and exhaling. We'll come back to our seated position. Right foot to the outside of that left leg. Sit up nice and tall and twist to the right. So maybe flexing your feet, maybe reaching through the crown. And just breathing here. to center right leg nice and long left foot to the outside of that right leg so sit up nice and tall twist to the left maybe flexing the feet maybe reaching through the crown and just breathing here back to center. We're going to make our way onto our back. So knees bent, feet about hip width apart. Right ankle to the top of that left leg and then hug it in. So coming into our figure four stretch, always knowing that this is a great option instead of taking pigeon, especially if you feel any pressure on the knees. Just breathing here and just maybe making some subtle movements or adjustments. Really trying to feel that tension just pouring out of the hip. And just breathing here. Maybe closing the eyes and trying not to let the mind race. Just bringing that attention back to the breath, maybe back to your intention. Always knowing that you can add some movement. We'll go ahead and switch sides. So left ankle to the top of that right leg and then hug it in. So finding that sweet spot for you. So our hips have a tendency to hold on to tension. So just trying to open up, trying to create some space, trying to let any tension go. Maybe just sitting with that uncomfortable feeling, trying to let it pour out. Bringing that attention back to your breath. Maybe back to your intention. Or even repeating a mantra over and over. Just trying to stay in the present moment. So sometimes yoga on the mat we have to sit with some pain or we have to sit with something that's uncomfortable. And then the goal is to hopefully take that off of our mat and into the rest of our day.
Go ahead and come into your happy baby. So either take peace fingers or on big toes. We're grabbing the outer edges of the feet. I'm just staying here for a moment. Be pressing that lower back into your mat. If it feels good, you can gently rock from side to side. We'll come back to center, hug that right knee in, extend the left leg nice and long, and then pull your right knee over to the left. So coming into your supine spinal twist, keeping a connection with your shoulders to the mat. And just breathing here. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. We'll come back to center, right leg nice and long, hug that left knee in, pull the left knee over to the right. So trying to keep that connection of the shoulders to the mat. And gazing at wherever is comfortable for you. If it feels good, you can look to the left. If it feels like too much, maybe just staying where you are. So sometimes the most yoga that we can do is just backing off and really listening to our body. Go ahead and come back to center. We're gonna relax our arms by our sides. Reach our legs up to the sky. Take a moment to roll out your wrists and ankles. Maybe wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. So just taking any movements that feel good to you here. And then we're gonna curl up into a tight little ball. So give yourself a great big hug. Squeeze your fingers, squeeze your toes, squeeze all of the muscles in your face and body. And then just letting go, coming into your final resting pose. So just sealing in your practice. And just breathing here. Whenever you're ready, we'll begin to add some movement. Maybe wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. Maybe rolling out your wrists and ankles. We'll roll over onto the right side of our body. So just pausing in a fetal position. an easy seated posture. So we'll bring hands to heart center. The light within me honors the light, love, and peace within you. Together we bow forward and say, Namaste. Yay! Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, maybe an awesome rest of your week.